Welcome back. It's an incredibly sad sight. Horses neglected and left in a Philadelphia neighborhood. These two found just this morning. You can see one animal's ribs. This seems to be happening every month on the streets of the city. Fox 29 Steve Keeley found there is no law or regulations against anyone owning a horse in the city. Fox 29 is working to get answers. While Philadelphia's politicians are always busy, it seems, raising taxes, raising fees, and raising fines, none have been raising any proposed regulations to prevent what we witnessed today in this backyard of a North Philadelphia row house. Two horses, underfed, ribs and bones showing through their hide and fur, not under any shelter. Out all last night, neighbors say in the rain, then out in the hot sun, just tied to a fence today. No food, no water, no owner anywhere around. And no law against anybody living anywhere in the city being able to own a horse. These horses are neglected, starving. They don't need a minimum amount of land, like the five acres for each horse mandated in Bucks and Montgomery counties in some towns. They don't need a license or a leash like you do with a dog. And they don't even need the minimum amount of intelligence about how to care, shoe, or feed a horse. And none of the local corner convenience stores we ever went to in the city ever stocked bales of hay on the shelves. These horses left to graze on the few weeds left growing through the cracks in the sidewalks. We probably um, see one or two cruelty cases a month regarding horses. In the city? In the city of Philadelphia. Neighbors will tell you seeing so many abandoned homes and abandoned cars breaks your spirit. But coming across an abandoned horse on an inner city street breaks your heart. And I was standing on the steps smoking a cigarette and lo and behold, I feel a nudge on my back and a heavy breath. It scared me. I thought maybe a bear or something. I turn around and it's a brown horse. <laughs> a brown horse. And I couldn't believe it. What's the weirdest case you've had with a horse in recent Um, We've had a lot of cases. I mean, they're all pretty bizarre because people bring them into, you know, their backyards of row homes. But we had a case um, where... They were. They wanted to use it, a horse as a float in a Puerto Rican Day parade. So they had purchased the horse um, very inexpensively at auction. They spray painted it pink, and um, was using it in a parade. And we don't think that's a good way to take care of a horse. And care clearly isn't being taken much at all for these latest two horses. Where this one seemed to look straight into our camera with a look on his face that said.